And with us Thanks. today is Khaled Tabara <laughs> of the zoo, who will soon be performing for us. But first, let's get to know the band a little bit better. Thank you for joining us today, no problem. Khaled. No problem at all. Um, how many years has the zoo been around? I don't know, like four or five, depending on. We had a couple name changes in the beginning, but we've been playing music as, as, as some entity similar to this for like four years, four, four and a half. What other names have you been known as? Um, we were originally called the Trafficants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think we were called the Ginger Bakers for a little while. We were Trafficant and the Mob. We had, mm -hmm. we had a couple different names and then we settled on the zoo maybe three, four months, five months in. Okay. We were called Call It. Originally it started, I was, I had, I made a solo CD like in my basement and I had a bunch of friends that liked it and we we're like, yeah, let's play a couple shows and try to bring it to life. But then when the other musicians started contributing a whole bunch more, it seemed silly mm -hmm. to keep calling it Call It because it was not just, you know what I mean, me playing. Mm -hmm. So we found a name. And what were some of the first venues that you played at? I always joke that like uh, the, the original climate musically in Youngstown when we first started trying to get shows was not very zoo friendly. Like it was just <laughs> a different music scene, you know what I mean? And we actually, we usually end up, because we couldn't get gigs at venues, we'd kind of make venues. Like we actually, um, like we play at coffee shops, we do a lot of acoustic shows, we play at the, um, used to be called Walk on Wick, it's like the Summer mm -hmm. Arts Festival now. Mm -hmm. um, we actually, r r not even rented, I used to do theater for the Oakland, this is the, the connection here, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and I used to do plays when I was little, and we uh, we rented, their, we, we, they gave us the Oakland for the evening, and we threw a Halloween party there, which was kind of nice, because it was like a, um, a live music venue, but there was lights, and there was all kinds of fun mm -hmm. stuff, and there was an audience could actually sit and enjoy it. So, in the beginning, we couldn't get real bars, and then finally, a couple people gave us a break, and we started opening for bands, and just put you got you got to pay your dues and eventually we started being able to play now we now we play a lot of different venues we play all over the place now um how would you describe the type of music that you play we call it nouveau rock which is the description of nouveau our little our little definition for that is uh what is it now i'm forgetting it it's uh <laughs> <laughs> it's uh no, something different often fashionably so is what, we, is what the definition of nouveau we use is but we we have a couple different terms we call we say that it, it's pop music for people that are way too smart to like pop music <laughs> um it, it, the idea is that it's, it's the kind of thing that you could first time you listen to it you might be bopping around and actually enjoying it but then your music major friends can listen to it and go all right they're cool, you know what I mean? Because there's enough going on that hopefully it satisfies, you know? Because mm -hmm. we all have a little bit of that, like a pretentious dude, but also the kind of guy that really just loves like putting on a good song and singing along, you know what I mean? Now, who were your major influences? Hmm. So obviously, everybody says the Beatles, but I, well, not everybody, but I love, I love the Beatles, the Kinks, <laughs> a lot of early 60s mm -hmm. stuff, um, the Rolling Stones, um, but there's also a lot of um, you know, like Violent Femmes, Tom Waits, Flaming Lips, a lot of, uh, a lot, that's where kind of, that's kind of the juxtaposition where you have like the popular stuff, like you got your Beatles, your Kinks, but then when you start mm -hmm. throwing in, um, you know, actually a lot of Stephen Sondheim, he writes a lot of musicals. Mm -hmm. Like I always say, like people that know my theatrical self listen to my music and they're like, oh man, I totally hear, you're, you're totally ripping off that, that, that musical. <laughs> and then somebody else will hear the same song and go, oh, you're, you're stealing that McCartney bit from the piano, you know, or whatever. So it's, it's a little bit of both, mm -hmm. you know, both sides coming together. How, how has that, helped the band evolve since three, four years ago. If, if anything, I think that the compliment we get the most, and which is that, coincidentally, my favorite compliment, is <laughs> is that, wow, man, like you guys don't sound like anything I've ever heard. Like that, I love hearing that. Like even if people are like, you know, you started playing, I wasn't really into it, but I can't even tell, you guys are really unique. <laughs> I'm happy with that, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it's cool because a lot of different people like us, or at least I like it, it would appear, you know what I mean? We'll, mm -hmm. we, we will play for, you know, 16 year olds at, at a metal concert, you know what I mean? And, and the same kids will come up and buy our CD afterwards, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And then we'll play the next day at like a bar or a party on the plaza and people that are probably, you know, used to hearing, you know, more, more radio friendly stuff seem to still enjoy us, so. Okay. Now, I understand that you guys have made some nationwide tours. Yeah, Tell yeah. We, about we, that. Where have you been? Um, mainly now, we still, our main focus is like north and east, which is odd because that's where it's cold and bad weather. But we go, you know, we go to New York pretty regularly, New York City, um, Montreal, Buffalo, mm -hmm. Albany, Pittsburgh, Cleveland. Then we go down like Louisville that way, Columbus. Uh, we're going to be playing Cincinnati in a couple weeks. Oh, like wow. in the next couple weeks, we're playing Cincinnati um, and Louisville. I think a Columbus. We talked to somebody, so that we have we have a possible booking agent. We've been doing it all ourselves forever. And it was somebody who might set us up mm -hmm. on an East Coast tour down to Tampa, oh, wow. where we're going to play for a, a record executive there. And if they like us, maybe some. But you know, I don't know. It's Very all cool. that kind of stuff. You never can get too <laughs> excited about because it's you know, we always, there's like a long shot every week that comes our way, and we just hope that eventually mm -hmm. one of those will fall through. You know? Well.